Thank you so much for over 1,000 subs in less than, what, two months? Two months, yeah. How crazy is that? If you're new here, we're the Limitless family. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Chris, and we've been traveling across the world with our two kids, and it has been quite the adventure. Well, hold on. You're forgetting one important family member. <laughs> Carmen Sandy Lego. I could not go anywhere without this girl, oh, and she has been all over the last few months. And that could so. be, literally could not go. <laughs> anywhere without her so you'd be doing a lot of hopping yes <laughs> after undergoing my 76th operation due to my injury still from the boston marathon in 2013 earlier this year i was on almost seven months of bed rest and chris and i decided that life is short once again and we were going to embark on our biggest adventure yet yeah so we kicked things off by playing a little game with our kids yep and that would decide our destinations which ended up with bali indonesia phuket thailand and barcelona spain with a few little surprise stops along the way and some challenges for sure that's a definite <laughs> we've experienced everything from dengue fever in bali which i'm still battling today if you can believe that a fender bender in phuket thailand and typical amputee challenges of Are navigating okay? the world on one leg <laughs> despite it all we have zero regrets and we know that our journey is just beginning we thank you so much for being here and here we are at our final game destination barcelona spain it is an early morning here at dublin airport we had a 6 30 a.m flight originally we were supposed to leave the hotel at four but i read all these horror stories about how bad check-in it's but we were through security by 407 but we will be meeting mom in spain this morning <laughs> We thought we were going to time these flights right, but my plane landed 10 minutes before theirs even took off, so I'm going to be in the Barcelona airport for a while. Well, it took forever, but we found Mom. I haven't been all through it. I only saw He said it's the nicest hotel we've ever stayed at. What? Oh. My. God. <gasps> this is like... The one in Home Alone 2. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is nuts. Look at this, it's like a full size bedroom. The bathroom is the size of a bedroom. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. It's a dining room. Yes. I don't even know what to do with all of this. Like this is a whole bedroom. This is our room right here. This is like, look at this sitting room, Rah. With the chandelier. How insane is this? This is crazy. A little outdoor seating area. The bus is a little more full we're than the one we took in Dublin. We're on a bus. Pictures do not do the Sagrada Familia justice at all. It was an incredible land work I think we've ever seen. Ever. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Bird tornado. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> um, it's awesome food, y'all. Becky Bird, just throw it. One thing we've learned is to really get around the city and see as much as you can in a small amount of time is to take the hop on, hop off tour buses. We have loved our adventures and it always ends up being so much fun for our family. Riley's big goal was to see the street performers on La Rambla and yeah. she was dying to see a mime and didn't work out really. We couldn't find the street performers. <laughs> Noah's still repping Ireland over here. <laughs> yep. I'm ready. You're Riley ready? She's ready. You ready? She wants to find some mimes because she's trapped in a box. Mostly empty bus again. Hello, 
you're on the hop off, hop off, uh, hop off. Oh, uh, what? Hello, we are on the hop off, hop on bus ride. It's really cool in Barcelona. We have been here for about two days now. This is our second bus ride of the day. This is what it looks like. These two are being nutty. It is a beautiful day here in Barcelona. Isn't it beautiful? Is it a beautiful yeah. day, Noah? Yeah. We're going to the Picasso Museum. Yeah. Riley's been so excited. That was what you said when we played our game. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. This part of Barcelona is super cool. Buy tickets? I have not bought tickets. Interesting piece, I'll say that. <laughs> Riley, Riley said we finally found mommy's left foot. That is one interesting sculpture. Do you think you could make these? I already have a lot on my to-do list when we get home. Oh, that's true. You yeah. do. You can't tell me that that thing back there was not straight out of a Tim Burton film. We have been on the hunt since Greece to find the ice cream that was so delicious when we went there. This is a close contender. It's got the cheesecake chunks in it, and that's something that I haven't seen since Athens. So, we're on our way. We are walking to the arch, the arc, the the, th the three, uh, the tree arc, arc. This is the way. <laughs> so the tree arc is something that they did for the first fair in Barcelona. That's all I can kind of say. Sorry. No, I, I just want to pop a bubble. We are at our first tapas restaurant and this is certainly new territory for us. Looks yummy though. All the food looks really good. Don't ask me to say the name of it though because there is zero chance I know how to say that. So the first thing is this delicious tuna salad on croissant. Everybody is a big fan. We are heading to the Casa Batlo. Batlo just got some Barca gear. Going to the game on Sunday, so that'll be a new experience. Do you hear it make it sounds too? <laughs> At least they're very cool looking Sears. Casa Botlo was one of our very favorites. Yeah, and if you didn't know, Gaudi was a famous architect that designed basically everything in Barcelona. From the Sagrada Familia to Casa Botlo and many other things. But once you walk through the house, make sure that you stop in a room that's very dark. You are not going to see some boring informational film. It is going to blow your mind. <laughs> We 
are here by the Sagrada Familia for our tour today. Uh, we have wanted to come here for a long time. We're finally going inside. We've been here for way too long to not go inside this thing. Right? <laughs> All the windows are in rainbow, so they're like going red, orange, yellow, green, blue. All right, we got a um, post Sagrada ice cream going on. What does everyone think? How everybody like? Did it live up to the hype? It's good, For but sure. it's, it's not as good as the no. Sagrada, the Sagrada Familia. <laughs> yes, it absolutely lives up to the I was like, live up to what? Dad takes such good care of us. He's going to do the laundry. Look yep. how cute you look. <laughs> well, they want a thousand, gabillion, zillion dollars to do it at the hotel, so. Figure Four dollars. Four euros to wash a pair of socks. Per sock. Per pair of socks, <laughs> four euros for per pair of underwear. It's the principle of it, right? I walk as far as I need to and sit in a laundromat in Spain by myself. I can't tell you the last time I've been inside of a laundromat in the States, but here I am. After spending the first part of our trip touring the city and seeing all of the beautiful sights of Barcelona, we finally came upon one of the most exciting, especially for you, <laughs> <laughs> highlights. You can't come to Barcelona and not watch a, so uh, I can't say the soccer word. A uh, football <laughs> match. And it was amazing, even for the people who had no <laughs> idea what was going on. <laughs> Getting ready before the game. <laughs> First ever football match we've ever been to. And we're doing it big in Barcelona. What team are we on? What scarf are you wearing? <laughs> we're cheering for Barcelona, of course. <laughs> You guys excited? Yeah. We do have a bit of an obstructed view here, <laughs> but that's okay. We are here to take part in a La Liga game. It's always food. You think so? They know that our view is obstructed, and so they're just waiting to get down. My view is great. <laughs> my view is great. And my hot dog is great.
that was a super cool experience. Yes, yes. that was a lot of fun. We left a little early, but as we were leaving, we got to stand there and watch uh, Barcelona go up 2-1 on a penalty shot, and it was so sick. So now we're trying to figure out... in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> I thought Beck was gonna get me punched in the face by a diehard in there, so she likes to make fun of the uh, the sport. So, if you got anything to say in the comments about that, aim it toward her. We have eaten here like every day. Come to Barcelona and you stay near the Catalonia Plaza. You've got to try out Los Moons. It is the best empanada you'll ever have. About to head to the cruise port and start heading to Florida. Look at all this stuff. Ugh, we will be traveling much lighter in the future. Barcelona has been absolutely incredible and even though we were packing up there was one more thing, one bucket list item that we had to do before leaving and that was a hot air balloon ride across Catalonia. Oh, it was absolutely breathtaking. And we are so excited to show you. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell button and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye.